Hello everyone, and welcome back to Suhula Sand Safari, where we finally have our first glimpse at these beautiful cheetah! Look at them! We have cheetah, you guys! This is going to be so exciting to watch as our two new cheetah, a female with no spots named Canvas, which you guys reminded me we actually used for a spotless female in our Nintendo, and it creates such an amazing name line because now we can name all of our kids after art, which would be so much fun. Uh, but we have Canvas over here. And then we have her mate Scatter, named after all of his spots, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So they're both very, very young cheetah. They are newly arrived in the area, slightly nervous to hear all of the elephants roaring behind them, but very eager to go ahead and make their way into Suhula San's safari and see what kind of influence they might be able to leave behind. Especially because we are working on getting in more predators. We now have our little bachelor group at Bachelor's Rock of a whole bunch of our lions. And soon we're gonna have more bachelor lions because the lion boys are about to grow up. In fact, Kinsler is about to mature and we need to decide what to do with him like ASAP because he's actually going to be chased away by Lonely, his very young father. So Lonely is clearly strong enough to continue ruling over this area for quite some time and pairing up with the Pride. Keep in mind the females actually control the Pride. Uh, but his children, especially his sons, would definitely not be allowed to stay. So. This is going to be a little interesting to see how that works out. But we need to take care of our cheetah now and get ready for all of the people to come and see them. I think that people are going to be very, very excited about our lovely cheetah. So let's make sure that we're prepared <clears throat> for that excitement. Here we go. I mean, come on. This is, this is important. We need to make sure we're pulling in the money to take care of everything. Also, Kinsler has gone ahead and grown up. So we're actually going to move him over to Bachelor Rock because he would leave the area before he and his father would get in some sort of really big fight. <gasps> and Ubuntu is about to give birth. Oh my gosh, we have so much happening. All right, Ubuntu, you go ahead and you let me know when you're about to give birth. I don't remember who you have gone ahead and... Oh, 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 the lions are fighting. Somebody else has grown up. All right, Lonely... And fellows, see, this is why, this is why we have to separate the males. Because they definitely are going to be absolutely chasing one another. Oh, look at that. Holy cow. Let's get the wildlife photographer out here just to kind of capture a quick snippet of this, though, because this is quite intense. Yeah. They could definitely, they could actually, oh my gosh. They could definitely like kill each other. This is this is a fierce battle that is raging. And this is what happens between the males. Males don't actually live very long in the wild with lions. Females can live quite a while, but not males. And Fellows is actually a bronze level male. So we're gonna go ahead and he's actually going to be chased completely away by his father. And that is totally normal. And it, it may seem odd to a lot of us because our human groups often take care of our young and we keep a family unit for a long time. <gasps> Ubuntu just gave birth! Let me see that baby, Ubuntu! Did it already run off? It already ran off. Look at this little guy. Oh, hello, little one. You unfortunately don't have the best genes. Who's your father, huh? Your resolve, your resolve's child. So I think Ubuntu and Resolve, they have another son. This is actually their second son. They already have Resolve the third. So we're gonna go ahead and name this little guy. You know what, I, I really like him quite a bit. He seems kind of feisty. Maybe Explore? I'm pretty sure we've had an Explore before. But he just, uh, let's call him, yeah, let's call him. Uh, explore, expedition, rise, because you kind of like go over high rises, maybe horizon. Um, let's name him, let's name him little XB. Uh, we'll name him explore. There we go. Even though we won't be keeping him, he'll go to explore other lands when he grows up, because he doesn't have the best genes for this zone, but that's okay. 
All right, and Explorer, let's give him his giraffe tree. I have not been getting enough giraffe trees, and now we might have a few giraffes who will never have their trees, which is just a, tra a, a tree giddy, you might say. Eh? Eh? Uh, but let's go ahead and try putting some giraffe trees maybe down here. Like Explorer's little giraffe tree into this spot. Nope, nope, nope. We don't want to flip it that way, silly me. Yeah, it might just barely fit in right here. Especially if I scooch it this way just a teensy bit. Nice. I actually really like that. So this is going to be Explore Giraffe Tree. There we go. All right, so there was a whole bunch of excitement to distract us. Lions being chased away into the wilds, or a moving and joining a coalition over at Bachelor's Rock. Down here, we've got our cheetah, who are definitely in need of a place to stay. They definitely need something going on in here. This is, this is not enough for them. So let's see, do we have like a nice little African cave I can give them? What's the snake cave exhibit? This is the lion cave with the habitat. Ooh! Oh, I should have put this down! Holy cow! This would have been really nice. Really, really nice for the cheetah. We'll make another cheetah area that we'll put that down in. But for now, lion habitat with cave. Let's see what we've got over in the cave area. Just something nice. Because I'm pretty sure we have some nice little... Little caves. Oh, and Shyness is about to have her baby! That's so ironic because Ubuntu is actually her mother. We have a pyramid we could put in. <laughs> We've used pyramids in the past, but not for these guys. All right, I love all of the things that people have created. They help so much with just being able, the lion roar, <gasps> this is such a cool shop. Heck, like I don't know what all's in here, but this is a really cool shop. We should definitely add this in. Maybe like right over here. Oh, that'd be really cool. All right, Shyness has gone ahead and had her offspring, so let's pop over there. Shyness, you have given birth to a little girl that we will name Shy. Shy the second. Because Shyness is named after Shy, and now we have Shy the second. Because she also doesn't have the kinds of genes where she'll probably be, not be staying forever. Um, but since, she's, since she is so shy, Let's add in her giraffe tree somewhere kind of remote. I love how we have all these giraffe trees. Uh, since she is so shy, let's move her giraffe tree... Hmm. Ooh, I know. Into this area. This is perfect. Like, very few people come back here. Very few animals come back here right now. And so we can put... Shy the second giraffe tree. There we go. Try to keep track of my little giraffes after after spending too long not doing so. But all right. Anyway, back to taking care of our poor cheetah who are just sort of stuck in a corner right now. They definitely need some sort of shelter. And for the cheetah, I mean, we've done a lot of cave shelters. Here's a lion den, like a huge giant lion den. Natural termite mounds that we can use to decorate. You know, I'm, I'm kind of- ooh, here we go, like a little savanna rock shelter. Nice! We can actually tuck this kind of close over here so people can see them resting inside of the cave and maybe make like a cave wall over here. Like, I might, I might crumble this a little bit. I, I don't want them to be completely surrounded by rocks, so I think we might make it so that you can see past here pretty soon out into the vast horizons with more glass so let's actually edit the barrier because i would love to give them a little bit more they could see so we're actually going to edit the barrier right here we have one-way glass and we're going to need that one-way glass to go up just in case just in case there we go like all of the rest and then let's remove a few of these rocks, kind of at random. Because I would love just to be able to see through them. Okay. 
And I think we're gonna replace this just with normal glass for a while until we have people over there so that it feels a little bit more open for our cheetah. Like they found this little, this itty bitty little valley spot and they can just relax over here. And let's spend the rest of the time taking good care of what they need. So that actually didn't work as a hard shelter for them. Idea removed. Um, I sort of think it'd be really fun to give them like an abandoned hut. In fact, I wanna do that. Let's give them an abandoned hut, like a village hut. And then we're going to kind of tear it apart a little bit. Yeah, I wanna do that. And we can say like this once upon a time used to be somebody's yard and it used to be like where they lived, but then they disappeared. So let's get in here. Oh no, it's not open. <laughs> What do you mean? There's- oh wait, 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 we can take out the whole wall. Yes! That's really cool. We can take out the lights. We can leave the big piece. There we go, see? Yeah, this will be the design we do for the cheetahs. Like a bunch of little abandoned animals. So they're not exactly my first vote for one of the predators who would choose like an abandoned hut to stay in. Ooh, but they definitely like that. Good, let's grab them another one. All right, let's see what we can pick from. Maybe one of these cute little houses. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, we'll pick one of these cute little houses and then just tear it apart. Or do we want to go with another circle one? Now these ones have like little gardens and everything, which are really cute and might complement this. But I think I want to stick with the circles. So let's go back over to the little huts and we'll grab this one. Nice. Very cute. And we can just kind of like gently pick at this. I hope I can, I can take this apart a little bit. I might not have the ability to. Ah, the smaller ones are just one big circle, so I don't think we have the ability to. That's okay. But you know what? We could definitely put one down as like a decoration. There's an idea. And until then, we can totally- the cheetah will want to actually sleep in here. And then people will be able to see the cheetah sleeping. Can I put this- or I could put it over by the door. Which might be kind of nice, like right over here and then have the cheetah sleep here. Or we could just put a bunch of blocks down. Okay, okay, I'm coming up with some ideas. Yeah, what if we just do this and I'll move more of the walls away to kind of make it crumble. Here, and we can even shrink it down some. There we go. And then let's come on in. Let's knock out another wall or two to kind of make it clear that this place has definitely seen better days. We can even remove some of the fencing. There we go. Or if I want to get really fancy, we can actually grab the fencing and just barely move the fencing up. So again, it's seen better days. All right, we'll remove that one. Nice, whoops. Okay, apparently that like freaked the cheetahs out, but they're gonna be okay. <gasps> Yay, they have some dung in here. We can add in the protea flowers. All right, I don't like this one quite as much, but does that make hard shelter? That now gives them a 100% hard shelter. And we can complement that with a couple of the new pixel biology adventures that has had 3000 people. Oh my gosh. Wow, I think we're absolutely going to need to um, like to work to add in um, even more events and things like this because it seems to be going very well. A nice big area with lots and lots of animals, noted. Oh, there we go. See, this is so cute. I really like this layout. I very much approve of it. Uh, I wish we could do like a different hut. Is there a different hut I could rip apart? I kind of want to yank that. No. Even this one. Let's see. Is it made of walls? Nope, it's just made of a base. So I wouldn't be able to pull that one apart either. 
Ah, well, one can dream. Maybe, but they need to have enough hard shelter. Because I'm kind of tempted to use, like, one of these. You know what? I really want a square. We're going to remove this. We're going to do it. I really, I, I know it's kind of silly, but I really kind of want one of these squares in here. And we're going to come on in. And this will have been somebody's, somebody's home at some point. All right. Let's take this apart. Facility having negative impact on guests. We'll all work on it in a little bit. And now the inside of this is available. So the cheetah can come through here if they want. Very delightful. And we need to make it look a little bit more abandoned. So we'll take apart a few of those. We could even, oh, I know how we can make it look more abandoned. Like tilt things, make it look like things fell down. There we are. Remove that. We don't want any cheetah cubs playing in the embers after all. There we go. Oh, and now there's going to be more fighting amongst the West African lions. They breed with their sisters or their mothers, their aunts. And so that would be very dangerous genetically. So the lions aren't really thinking about that. But a lot of animals have a inbred, uh, ironically, sense of needing, needing that space. Needing not to have. There's Lonely. And he has successfully chased away Mercury. All right, we're going to move Mercury over to the bachelor zone of needing to get the males out of the area away from the females. That's something that a lot of the animals just innately do have. There we go. And if we release oh, six more plain zebra to the wild, then we'll get a special boost and we need to increase puff adder education to 4%. That might be a little hard, but we can definitely do it in the future. All right, so let's check in on our cheetahs. Now that they have hard shelter. Okay, they actually feel like they don't have as much hard shelter as they did. No! All of that work, can they not go into the little zone we made? Traversable area. They can't figure out how to get in there. What if I move it up? How about now? Can you guys go in there now? What if I, can I rip the wall down? Is that an option? Let me see. It is an option, yes! Okay, now it should be good enough. All right. Yay! They can go through. I need to move this over a little bit so that they can act, which I think would be quite delightful. All right. Heck, we need to do more for the cheetah, but I want to set it up right like the first time. Oh man, still not enough hard shelter? <sighs> All right. We'll have to add in some more. Hmm. Maybe a little cave over here would be delightful. I actually would like a little cave over here. Yeah, why not? Okay, so let's try making a quick little cave on the side that maybe extend over to give people a bit of a break from the fierce sun. <gasps> and we're gonna have another giraffe baby! Oh, happy days, happy days. That always makes me a very content Siri to hear that we've got more little giraffes on the way. Let's get this up. There we go. Let's go ahead and maybe put its pillars in a couple more places before Hope the Third has her baby. I wonder if she'll have another little hope. We'll have to hope and see. <laughs> oh. We can only hope. There we go. All right. Yeah, let's do this. This looks really nice. I love how much we can change and customize about just everything about this. All right, we'll visit with Hope's offspring in just a second because we definitely need to give them a name. But I at least wanted to try to get, even if we're just pretending we got that far, <laughs> try to get some of the rock cladding down. There we go. All right. And then we'll flip this like so and we'll go ahead and see <gasps> canvas is about to mate oh they are so happy to have a cave that they have decided to grace us with some babies 
That is exciting. That means cheetah babies, you guys, which means that scatter might actually scatter, uh, ironically, because males do not stick around and help out with the babies in cheetahs. So we might actually make a second cheetah zone, which could be another like little abandoned house for all we know. And go ahead and put that in another part of... It didn't say she's expecting offspring though. And put that in another part of the zoo. Uh, but all right, Canvas. Canvas is not expecting babies. However, friends, they have enough hard shelter now. Yay! All right, we'll deck out this cave to make it look a little bit more cavey and we'll continue to improve things over there. But meanwhile, Help the Third has given birth to another baby. It's a little boy, another little boy. He's a gold level little boy. Who's his dad? It's Talent. Talent, I'm pretty sure you have some children already named Talented. Nope, you don't. All right, so we have Talent the second. There we go, guys. And meanwhile, Leonis is about to mature and also have to figure out like what we're going to do. He might actually chase away some of the other bachelors that we have inside of Bachelor's Rock and leave only the toughest and the youngest bachelors behind because that is actually how it works uh, when you've got lions. These 10 year old males who are not as strong may be chased away by the younger boys ready to prove their stuff and take over their territory. It is a fierce, fierce world for lions after all. But right, guys, thank you so, so much for joining me. It has been another wonderful day of adventures, taking care of everyone in Samula San Safari. If you guys would like, and as soon, there we go. <laughs> as soon as we're out there and ready to go again, most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.